Ladies, gentlemen, and everyone in between, I'm Burning Dogface, and I'd like to welcome you to Let's Play A Boy and His Blob. That's probably fine. I guess we're skipping straight past the, uh, start new game, you know, menu here. Uh, so I'll just kind of hang out here, in my gigantic tree house, where I live, by myself, apparently, and, uh, do my usual intro. This game came out in 2009, originally exclusively on the Nintendo Wii, and it's a 2D puzzle platformer as well as a reimagining of a beloved NES game from 1990 that had the full title, A Boy and His Blob, Trouble on Blobonia. I swear that is true. <laughs> I, uh, actually played that game when I was a kid. I had a friend who had it. And, uh, I adored the concept, even though I never even came close to finishing the game. It turns out uh, NES games were a lot harder than they had any right to be. <laughs> um, but hey, this isn't a one-to-one -one remake, so maybe this one will be, you know, more merciful against me. <laughs> Before we begin, I'd like to mention that this is going to be a blind LP. I stepped into the very first area in order to get some readings on the frame rate and audio levels, but other than that, everything we're about to see is going to be new to me. I'm going to play the game for the first time ever, and you guys get to come along for the ride. Oh, here's hoping we all enjoy ourselves. Uh, I'd also like to give a very special shout out to Clunk279, a Burning Dog fan who gifted me this game. You know, I really enjoyed playing through Halo and ha uh, Halo 3 and God of War, but those games were very serious and very bleak at times. So I thought we could use something charming and kind of adorable, and I would say this perfectly fits the bill, wouldn't you? <laughs> so thank you, Clunk. I sincerely hope you enjoy this series, because it's dedicated to you. Now, without further ado, and kind of since we're already doing it, let's play a boy and his blob. Thank you for your patience. I guess it wants me to do this. Oh, no, don't, don't jump. That. I really do live in a tree. Interesting they didn't tell me to jump. Can I... Huh, neat. Oh, and I can just run back up. Okay. Well, I can barely jump. 
I do remember that about the original. It's all about what the blob can do, not what the boy can do. He has all of the powers and abilities of a real, like, what is he, like, eight-year-old kid? All right, I'm not going to assume you're evil just because you're dark and spooky looking. Hi there. No, you're evil. Okay, now I know. I have to give them the benefit of the doubt, guys. Otherwise, I'm the monster. What? Oh, crap. Wait, no. No! I can't... Hmm. Are you evil? No, you're just a background element. Ah! Oh. Wait, can I not jump that? Oh, wow. Yeah, my abilities really aren't that much, are they? I'm going to assume for my own sanity that this child does have a home and parents, and that his parents were letting him sleep in the treehouse in the woods for some reason. Why is that one special? Oh. Oh, no, I don't need to duck under that at all. Hello? Meteor? There's another treasure chest there. I should have tried more buttons on those now that I think about it. Okay, now we're going this way, I guess. Oh, yes, I'm going to enjoy this. Oh, that's why he was special. He had money inside of him. I can confirm that none of the buttons do anything. Yep, okay. I even tried clicking in the sticks and everything. Oh, wait, where am I meant to be going? Interstitial area. Oh, this is where I'm supposed to go. Okay. Ah! Oh. It's a cutscene. I'm not Come doing on. that. <laughs> Hi there. Come on. Uh, hi. Pleased to meet you. <laughs> Aww. I remember when this game came out. I remember there was a feature that brought everyone infinite joy. And if I remember correctly... Oh, there's a button! There is a hug button, Burning Dog fans! If you press up on the D-pad, you hug the blob! You have to be standing next to him. Aww. Oh, I can't go over there, it's dangerous. Or maybe I'm just not jumping. No, I'm not, I'm not going over there. Well, come along then, friend. I'm pretty sure in this game the characters do not have names. In the original game, the Blob was named, and I swear this is true, Blobbert. But the boy did not have a name. I think it was meant to, like, project yourself into him. You know, the same flawed logic behind silent protagonists. Oh. Oh, there you are. Come along. Uh okay, I guess that's how that works. I think there was more treasure over this way. Bob. Blob. Oh. Y button calls for the blob. Uh -huh. Uh, I don't suppose you know what to do with this guy, huh? He's like an evil you? Uh, uh. I'm gonna call those guys oozes, because if it's just two different colored blobs, that just sounds like... Well, that sounds like a race thing. Is that the first one... 
Now, there was another one, wasn't there? I got the one in the butt and the guy. I got the one over there. No, that's right. There was one down there in the meadow looking area. But I got to go from going over here. Blob. He just calls out to him like it's, like it's his name. That's a very satisfying eating sound effect, too. I mean, they seem to put themselves back together after a few minutes anyway, so... Of course, this is missing the major mechanic of the uh, original game. By the way, setting the options is easier than usual this time. Would you like to see them? <laughs> I, in order to turn the volume down, because it was way too loud at first, I had to go into the Windows volume mixer and change it. So this is where I live. Uh, it's called a tree. Most people don't live in trees, but, uh, you know, you made friends with the weirdo, so... I don't know if you can climb that, since you don't have any hands. Oh, never mind, I forgot you can jump. You have a 50-foot vertical... Cool. Oh god. Why is this happening? It's an alligator! No! Oh, thought I was going to break. And that is the major mechanic I remember. You feed jelly beans to the blob, and it shapeshifts into different things. That was a black jelly bean, which I'm certain was a reference to the original game's Licorice Ladder. Oh, see, I don't need to do that every time. Yeah. Way to go! We completed the quest of climbing the ladder. Oh, don't tell me it was all a dream. This is one of those things where I have to move. I pressed A and he woke up. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> That's really funny, actually. I guess it's like... I'm trying to think of something that begins with P. Like, pecan pillow? Okay, that looks interesting, but uh, before I figure that out, I did want to check this out. No, it's just a decoration. It's a stuffed alligator. Huh. Hey, pardon me a moment. Here I am. Okay, if I hit A here... Okay. Oh, it's a level select. Okay, that was a one. That was a one. It's interesting they're not giving me context or anything. This is a game by Way Forward, the same people who made the Shantae games. So it's kind of expecting more along the lines of dialogue and explanations, but I'm kind of digging this so far. What do we got here? All right, it's half of an island. Oh, that's cute. All right, next level. Alright, I'll start pushing buttons. Found it! It's X. So that would be the... Let's see... Was it? Blueberry Balloon, Licorice Ladder, and... Punch Hole. <laughs> I was fond of that one as a kid. 
no, that's not it. Okay, I hold B and I aim like this. But I can't seem to cancel out of it. I guess not. Mom. Well, he's probably just gonna turn into a ladder over. Oh no, it, it, it did fade away. Ladder it is. Oh, we can even, yeah, okay. Even you have a strength on it. Thank you, Blobbert. I guess if I'm gonna call you Blobbert, I should call the kid something, huh? How do you feel about Billy? It's nice and alliterative, Billy and Blobbert. Well, I see what to do here. Yeah. Er, no, wait. I'm gonna punch a hole right here. Thank you! I don't know how you put the pounds away like that. feels like to the touch, or what he feels like to the touch, not to be rude. Okay, but what's over here? I don't remember being able to swim, for the record. Oh! oh no, that's not right. Here you go. Come get some! Nice. Oh, what the hell. Peril! I can't even swim. I have fewer abilities than the standard, uh... Than the standard eight-year-old. You know, I remember something from the original game distinctly that the blob as a whole drops out of the platform before he changes back. So if you're standing directly beneath him, you can accidentally fall beneath, uh, through the thing you're currently standing on and end up killing yourself. I really wish there was a cancellation button. Oh, what's... Oh, I see. That one centers the camera on Blobbert. What happens if I do this one? Okay. <laughs> I guess it's just adorable? Can't hang from it or anything. See, he's just an amorphous little dude, and he wants to be my friend. boy. Let's see if that trait still carries through. If I'm standing directly beneath the hole. Nope. Controller shook very hard at that. I don't think I should try falling much further than that. Here we go. No wait. So if I hold right on the D-pad, yes, it does center on Blobber. Does he blink? I guess his entire body is made out of moisture, so probably he doesn't need to. Excellent. Here. 
No. And he'll be safe down there. Ooh, a glowing jelly bean. I don't remember that. What other kinds do I remember? I remember the... Oh, that one's orange. I bet that's this one, actually. Oh, no, that's different. It's a door. Oh, that's the exit. Okay, get to the glowy one for the exit. I was thinking of the tangerine trampoline. What? 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 Well, it's not even like a barfing noise. It's just what? I feel like this isn't how interior decoration normally works. <laughs> A garbage can. Oh! Hey, Blobbert. What a weird place to live. I don't seem to have a refrigerator or a bathtub or really anything that uh you would need to live. Right, it was a uh, one. Okay. Why don't I go to this? Is this how you save the game or does it just do that? I guess it just does that. guys. They have the physique of a pillowcase. Alright, I don't need to test that one to know what that means. Mom. Achievement unlocked. Show some love. Ah. But the, the, the Wii version didn't have achievements. Hug the blob five times. Is anyone surprised that that's the first achievement I got in a game where that achievement is available? I guess he's got the zoomies. Oh! I guess that was the orange one, but now I don't have ladders. Alright, I guess it's one of those puzzle games. Or maybe they just don't want to give me everything at once so I don't get overwhelmed right off the bat. Let's go! Oh, don't be rude about it. Come on! Oh no. Oh, okay. That was neat. Oh, okay. Now, I don't think hole will work here, because there's nothing beneath us. Let's try it anyway. Oh no, we just won't even stay there. In the original game, you just sink down to about your ankle depth. Oh. Will, uh, that help? Are you sure that'll help? No, he won't go in there. Alright, I... No, no, I can't jump on top of him because I have no vertical jumping power. I think that's what the, la uh, the thing is for. Or maybe I can just go up there. Like, straight to the bottom and then... Oh, I see, there's a rock up there. Of course there is. Oh. But the timer is gone. So I'm going to call it, uh... Well, I'm going to call it an episode. First, you know... I think this went pretty well for the premiere. So, uh... Till next time, when, uh... Me, Billy, and Blobbert see you again... 
I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play A Boy and His Blob. And one more. Later!